had issues last night, and then it got dark, and we never got to finish. So the wheels on the back are too wide. We need to narrow it up, and the ram doesn't want to suck in. So the hose apparently has a big old leak in it. It does have a big leak in it, but it's just a bad hose. So I'm going to run into the hardware store and get it fixed have them build me a brand new one, I guess, and then hopefully try and get it put back on. I probably have to go to town and get fuel because we ran the tractor almost out yesterday, and then I'm not really sure what my day's about, because he doesn't want me raking that field no brakes in the tractor, but we do need to keep moving forward, so we'll see. I just remembered, I don't have to get fuel. He took the fuel cans last night, put them in his pickup so that he's going to bring fuel home tonight when he comes home from work. So one last thing I have to worry about. The hose I got done, um, the sheep need fed, they're a little pissy, so I'm going to go feed them and then go put that hose on and I told myself there was something else I needed to do today besides haul hay. Oh, I have to trim the willows at the front of the house. It's to where you can't see to get out of the lane anymore and it's kind of a hazard. We had to pull this hose that runs all the way here and then up into here and that runs the ram in the back this it needs closed and every time he'd run the lever last night it would spray oil like everywhere and this would kind of move and then as soon as he released it it would spring back to where it was so this is why we are needing it closed because the two wind rows are not getting close enough together for me to bail just one row. Actually what we're doing is taking two of these rows and pushing them together to make one row. Makes it easier to bail, makes a better bail, helps dry the hay faster, and we just have issues. I headed to our local hardware store this morning to get a new hose. So new hose, new ends, and they were nice enough to take the ends off the old one and put it onto the new one for me so I didn't have to do it later. That's why I love our hardware store. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and get this put on, hopefully the right way. How hard can it be? It goes on that end, goes through the little box, goes through the ring, and goes up there. I just hope it's long enough. They measured it. It's supposed to be long enough. Okay, let's get this put on. And because it is Monday, I got to go check that gate. So we'll do that as soon as this is done. on that end and hooked on that end so we should be good let's go check that gate and then I'll come back and maybe start this and see if I can't get that to move in somehow some way I don't know
it's new to me. I have, I've never used it before. I've never used one like it before. I have no clue what I'm doing. So uh, we're just winging it. Yep, gate shut. That's always a plus. I know there were people up here this weekend, so that means that they were the smart people that know how to shut gates behind themselves. So call that a win this weekend. Junie has a hard time when I putt on the four-wheeler. So she continually comes back to find out why I won't go. Like there's something wrong and we should just haul butt. When we decide to go, she is off to the races. I think he would stay in there all day if I let him. You ready? Come on, let's go. It's been a while since I've been in the garden, but I have corn coming. My sunflowers are starting to do good. Between now and Saturday, I need to separate off all the boys from in here. So the 10 that are sold need to go. And then the rest, there's a sale on Saturday, so they need to head for the sale. And then we'll just be down to the girls. And I think there's at least 20 boys in here. There could be more. Still trying to get that ram to move. Got the loader started, which apparently we need to get the ram moved to close off the tires. I don't know. I'm just going with what he's telling me to do. Now what? It better slide now because there ain't no weight on it. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Taking the pressure off of all the points should help it. If we can start the tractor again. Oh, good. Something's got to be jamming it up. We're going to try and loosen both these two pads. Ooh, sunlight's kind of bright.
This time's the charm, right? Hey! That worked! Cool! That is much better. A bit here we're leaving behind, so he adjusted. Yep, that's better. Not leaving. I mean, a little, but not like it was down there. He's gonna wait till the sun sets, at least a little bit more. Um, he doesn't want any, any, he doesn't want this wet, so. If you rake it wet, it ropes it up, it tightens it. Okay. If you rake it dry, it makes it big and boofy. But if you if you rake it as dry as it is right now, then all the leaves fall off when you tumble it. Gotcha. So it has to have a little dew. You gotta have enough dew that the leaves will stay on there. Gotcha. So we need to wait about an hour and then we'll be perfect. Okay. Well, depends on what you want for dinner. Something that takes less than an hour. Sandwiches? <laughs> Sandwiches is what we had last night. You did, I didn't eat. Taco takes less than an hour. Spaghetti takes less than an hour. Okay. Spaghetti it is. Yes, I'm going to do that.